I mean, uh, we, we, don't, we, we know how to build this thing. And, it, and it's coming. And so how much of that do you want? All right, go get it for yourselves. Okay? Now, here's the thing. <laughs> this is the biggest challenge that I, that I had in the very beginning, one of the biggest challenges that many leaders will face as you start to build this business. And that is keeping things simple. Okay? Keeping things simple. There's really only two things to this business. I mean, when you break it all down and all the fluff and fancy stuff and everything, there's really only two things. My mentor taught me this. He said, Jimmy, you need to sponsor people and you need to get them started. That's it. You need to sponsor people and you need to get them started. That's really it. You know, I mean, you, you, you know we're, we're, and now inside of those, there's some things that we're going to share with you. But understand, that's what, if you can master some of these fundamentals we're going to cover today, you can write your own check. Literally write your own check. Okay? See, the problem is, what happens is we get into this business, and even myself already, I've had to say, whoa, I don't need to do that. It, it, it's because you just start learning all these things. You just start, you start wanting, I mean, you're, getting, you're seeing people's lives change, and you're, you're getting more information. You're learning more about the research and more about the doctor, and, and you think you have to know all this stuff for people to get in. No. We did a, we did a PBR last night. And, and uh, we're like, well, we don't have a projector, and we don't have, but that's okay. We put in, you know, 400 people without a projector. We just started using the projector, the PowerPoint, okay? And, and, and so the reality is this. You just want to keep it simple, okay? You want to keep it simple. Getting people started by sponsoring people and getting people started. Now, I'm going to give you a formula to really ignite your businesses, okay? This is a formula, just so you know that is proven over and over and over in this industry, all right? And if you can get this down and teach it to your teams, it'll, it'll ignite your business, okay? Here's the formula. First of all, what you want to do is, within the first 24 hours, okay, you want to get with your, what we call PBCs, personal business coaches, that's usually going to be your sponsor or someone director or above, okay? You want to get with them right off the bat. Because here's the thing. If people fail, people don't fail to plan. They plan or they fail to plan. Plan to fail. Yeah. Right. That's what it is. Okay. <laughs> and and so the thing is, you you got to treat like a real business and start laying out the things that are going to help you be successful. Okay. And so what you want to do is you talk about your goals. You know, get with your coach. Get with your you know. If Michael Farino sponsored me, I'd be sitting down with him. Or if I was in his group, I'd say, Michael, listen, I want to go build this business. Tell me what I need to do. And he's going to say, well, tell me why you want to do it. You know, why do you want, want to build this business? Why do you want to be successful in rain? Why do you want to, uh, you know, build your retirement plan? And, and see, the, the why is so important because, ladies and gentlemen, for a leader and a coach and a mentor, it gives us the opportunity to really help, hold you accountable. See, I know why Rick and Tracy are building this business, okay? I mean, they've got big dreams for their, for their church, for their people in their congregation. Big dreams. See, I, I know why Mindy Anderson's building this business. No, I, I mean, you, you've got to know why the people that you bring into the business are building it. Okay? And, and, and so figure out what their why is. All right? Find out how much income they want to make, especially their first three months. Okay? Find out how much they want to make. Find out how much time they can commit to it. See, because here's the thing. You never, as a leader, want to impose your goals on someone else. My, my goals are a lot different than most people in this room. Okay? We, when we looked at this uh, opportunity, we had big dreams and goals in terms of helping lots of people. See, uh, see our goal now has changed. It used to be 100,000 people that we'd affect. We, we, we want to help a million people. Okay? And, and, and so that's not everyone else's goal. See, if someone comes to me and says, Jimmy, I just need to make $500. Perfect. That's what we're going to do. We're going to lay out a strategy just for you to help you make $500. Okay? And so find out what your income goal and time commitment is. I always want to know the six things that they want out of this business. Okay? I want to know what they really want. You know? Do they want better retirement? Do they, do they want to fire their boss? I mean, that was one of my goals. I, I, I remember getting into this industry. I told, his, told Ken, listen, i got to get out of this corporate job. It's going to cause me to get a divorce. I'm, I'm hardly seeing my family. Nikki's mad at me. And, uh, you, you know, i got to get out of it. That was one of my goals. Okay? One of my other goals was to start going on mission trips. And because of this industry, we've been able to do those kind of things. And so people, your sponsor wants to know that. Trust me, they want to know that. Because they know that when you slip up and you're not doing your activity, I'm going to come back to Chris and say, Chris, 
you're the, remember when we sat down and we were talking about your goals and you said that you wanted to get rid of that corporate job and you told me how much money you needed? Well, we're not on track, buddy. We've got to do a little bit more activity. And so you can use the, your, their goals. Never, never just, you know, strong arm anybody or force Use their goals, their why, to motivate and, and, and help them build their business. Okay? So this lifeline game plan, the, the next thing you want to do after you get their six things that they want is that you want to get a list of 25 names. Now, this is the first 24 hours. Know this. Down the road, we want hundreds of names. Okay? I mean, to be the biggest of builders in this industry, you got to come out with a lot of names. Okay? But we're just talking about the first 24 hours. And this is a list of names is just 25 names. Some of you were in the car last night when I did a getting started call. This is all I asked the guy. Very simple. We brought a guy in last night from San Diego, and this is exactly what I did. Some of you that were in the car got to hear a, a, a GSR. And this is all we asked him to do. Very simple. Because here's the thing. He's never been in this industry. He doesn't really know what to do. And what, this is for the masses. This is just to get someone started. Some of us want to give them all these things to do. They, they, you freeze them. We're talking about the first 24 hours getting someone started here. Okay? So you get the list. And then well, here's what we do. We like to grade that list. Okay? We like to grade that list. All right? I mean, we call it a four-checker system. Uh, there's other names for it. But, but we just call it a four-checker system. And we give them a check mark for any of these things that pop up. One, if they're a self-starter. Now, these are great people, of course, because you don't have to motivate them. You don't have to tell them to get going. If they're a person of influence, we love these because they have big circles, right? Okay? And then the other one is they have a positive attitude. See, I love this business because we get to work with the ones that really want to go build this thing. Okay? And then the last one is they got some money. They at least have a $250 or $500. They can at least invest in the business and get going right away. Okay? And so this is the four-checker system. And what ends up happening is this makes it very simple for your sponsor, or your mentors, to look at that and say, hey, let's go through that. All right, these are your best ones. You got 10 of them. I want to see them all. I want to get on the phone with every single one of them. We're either in person, because these, these, are, these are the ones. I mean, we, we, we want to we make sure they're going to a PBR or to a dinner or two-on-one, whatever it is. Your mentor will tell you where, where those people need to go. Okay. Because some people are so busy that they might not ever make it to a PBR. That you're going to have to go sit down with your mentor. And I, we don't want you to do it because you're not ready. We want your, your mentors to do that with you. Okay? Or somebody in the success team that can help you build that business. All right? And then what you want to do is schedule some PBRs. Party by rain. So here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't always have to be in a home. You know, we, we met with a guy yesterday. He's probably going to rent out of a huge facility. Uh, he just has that kind of connection. And, uh, I mean, but, uh, clubhouses, but, but just get some people together, okay? Get some people together. Get some dates set as fast as you can, all right? Because here's the thing about these PBRs. You, this is where you'll earn the income. See, see, people have to see you. They have to know in your heart and your eyes that you're really going to help them. See, Warren Buffett, I love Warren Buffett. I love pay, just, just listening to him. Uh, he, he said right now in this economy, there are two things that people are still uh, investing in and buying into, okay? The first one is anything of value. It's got to have tremendous value right now. But then the, big, the other thing, which is even bigger, is they have to trust you. They have to trust you, okay? Because there's a lot of crazy things going on right now. And so, and so what happens is that a PBR is they get to see you, share all this incredible information, but they also get an opportunity to really see it in your eyes that you're going to be able to help them, that this price can be able to help them. And so PBRs will make you some money. I mean, we do massive amounts of PBRs all throughout the country. Okay? And you, you know, the, the people that do the most PBRs will make the most money in this business. I, I honestly believe that. Not if, not me. We're already seeing it. I mean, they're right. I mean, just racing. I mean, we do, and it can be a dinner. We do a big dinner back home. 